Hello everyone, this is Mumbo here, welcome back, and today we have got something a little bit different for you because I have been told by Exumavoid that I have to hop onto the Hermitcraft server and just start recording immediately, which is always a little bit concerning because that generally means that I've been pranked, and it's even more concerning considering it is coming from Exuma. For those of you who don't know who Exuma is, he is the guy on the server that goes big. Anything that he builds it's just going to be ridiculous, take ages to do, and just be absolutely insane. I'm assuming that isn't the prank there, but by the look of things, the sheep has been shaved. I suppose that's probably got nothing to do with me, but let's take a look. I'm currently in New Hermiton, and it might be over at Mumbo Jumbo Jungle Base. We're going to have to look around, have a little bit of a look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to my base, and we will see what has been occurring. I was just on my way through New Hermiton, making my way back over to the base to take a look at the damage, and then I noticed something. It's it's a little bit different. Something has changed. By the look of things, my lovely little modern abode that I had in New Hermiton has been stone brickified. We now have a completely, completely and utterly stone brick area. I mean, look at my garden. Even my garden has been turned into stone bricks. I can't quite believe it. Look, if we go around the back, we've got stone bricks all the way around here. Even the half slabs that were a nice little bit of detail going around the back, they're all, all been turned into stone bricks. Now, I'm going to make the assumption that this was by Exumavoid. There aren't actually any pranking signs, but look, we've got Mumbo's stone bricks here. I mean, this has been, yeah, this has been completely taken apart and replaced by a block that I love so much, but I have to admit, you know, with this sort of large quantity, I can see where you're all coming from now, okay? I know I use a lot of stone bricks, I don't quite use this much, but I see what you mean. It's, it's becoming just a little bit boring. Let's take a look inside. Is there any is there any signs inside? We've got eggs from Biffa. That was, that was a very long time ago indeed. But also, by the look of things, oh, that's very nice. We've got all the blocks that are actually taken from the build itself, so that's lovely. And then what's in here? Oh, by the look of things, I've actually left... A whole bunch of stuff behind in New Hermiton, so that's good to know. Thank you, Exuma, for pointing that out to me. I know you did it indirectly, but there we go. That is the mini, mini prank by Exuma, stone bricking my New Hermiton house. Now, what I want you guys to do, I'm going to need your help here. I'm not particularly evil, right? I don't have a very evil mind. I can't think of pranks for the life of me. I'm just too friendly, and I just can't think of any. So what I want you to do is I want you lot to go down into the comment section and let me know how I can get Exuma back for this. It only has to be small, only has to be something quite nice and simple, and we'll be able to get him back for what he's done, because, I mean, this isn't fair, is it? I'm going to take a look over at my base to see if he's done anything over there. Certainly hope not, otherwise that'll be awful. But that is what I want you to do. Enroll yourselves and help me out. I've taken a look around, trying to assess the damage, and by the look of things, he has kept it local to New Hermiton, which is good, I'm glad to hear that, because can you imagine if he stone bricked this entire place? I mean, I know he wouldn't have to place that many of them, there's plenty of stone bricks about as it is, but it would just be a bit of a nail in the coffin, wouldn't it? But what I think we're going to do is I think we're going to head back over to New Hermiton, and we're going to restore my old house to its former glory. I don't know if we're going to change anything, that might be an idea, but for the minute, I think we're going to just send it back to its original, old style, without all the stone bricks, so I'll catch you guys when I get over there. While I finish the rest of this up, I thought I would have a little bit of a chat to you about something that's been on my mind recently, and some of you might have noticed this, okay? But one thing that I do want to say is that recently I have been struggling a little bit in terms of finding projects and things to do on Hermitcraft, and that is just because I've been on the server for a very long time now, recording the Let's Play for 90, 92 episodes now, I do believe. Absolutely ridiculous, considering the fact that I actually have a technical Let's Play series, and I rely on making projects. And if you do 90 episodes of making projects, getting them all done very nice and quickly, you, you end up doing a lot of projects, and you end up running out of projects. And I finally feel like I've got to where I want to be, on the Hermitcraft server. My original plan was that I wanted to have a hub of automation as my base, and I definitely feel like my base is a hub of automation. There is always farms running, things being produced, and that is what I love. That is the side of Minecraft that I really enjoy, but sadly, it is a limited side of Minecraft. Once you automate everything that you can automate, you sort of run out of things to do. 
So, what I have decided to do is I have set up a mumbo jumbo hermitcraft suggestion subreddit so you can head over there and send in your submissions, tell me what projects you want me to work on on the hermitcraft server and hopefully it will lead to very interesting hermitcraft episodes in the future. So there we have it everyone, everything is now cleared up, we have ourselves a lawn once again, it's not, it's not particularly pretty in terms of lawns, I mean it's a bit dirty, we might need to wait for some grass to grow, get some turfing in, but it's better than stone brick, anything is better than stone brick at this point, as you can see the house is looking a whole bunch better now, so I am very happy with that one, but remember, if you do have any cool suggestions in ways that I should get Exuma back, then please let me know down in the comment section. But anyway, that is all I've got time for for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you have enjoyed today's episode of Hermitcraft. If you did, please be sure to hit that like button. And if you really loved it, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. This has been Mumbo, and I'm out. I'll see you later.